Well, I finally got a clogged nozzle. <laughs> Hoping to avoid that. All right, it's pretty cool down now. I turn the fans off. So it's so noisy. So the first thing to do is to remove the motor wire. So you can remove the motor. Remove the motor so we can get access to where the filament goes into the head. So and over here, we use one of the allen wrenches that came with. There's two allen wrenches. This is the right one for this. We need to use that to remove these screws. So now we can remove the motor. The motor comes out. Just set it down over here. So now we can look down in here and we can see there is some filament right there. Sticking out through the head. So if there was excess here, we we're supposed to cut it out. We're supposed to trim it off using uh, some motor. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so now we need to heat the uh, head up and then we're going to use this tool this tool to push the filament out through the head and that'll unclog it so these other wires stay away from the heated uh, bed there heated uh, temperature printing head we're going to keep those wires away oh here's here's some other little washers and little spacers that came out okay so there's some spacers Spacers that fit in here, okay. So we'll have to keep track of those. All right, so now we're gonna heat up the printing head by using the preheat button on the front. Right, so now it's heated up. I'll push this through. It's going in. It's coming out. Yeah, so it's coming out on the bottom now. That's good. Uh, it just kind of seats in there, it doesn't come all the way out. So it looks like we got all the filament that was jammed in there out. So now we'll put it back together and uh, we've got to pay attention to all these little parts though. So there's, let me go ahead and turn off the preheat. I think we to clear down again to be safe here. But there's these little spacers. So these little spacers go right in here. One of them goes here. And. Uh, there's a little teeny one. Where did that one go? A little teeny spacer, which I lost track of, so now. That was over on this side. So I'll have to find that, and then we'll put it back together. Alright, so I think I got this figured out now. Should have paid more attention. So this is the front of the fan where the grill goes the back has the label on it so and the wires go in the lower left hand corner so the big long screw goes through the grill and then it goes through this little teeny spacer which goes into the indentation in here so that you have better securing it I guess and then on the back side you put the big spacer so here's the big spacer put that on the back side and then the heat sink goes over that, like this. So that puts the heat sink right up against the fan, and then this heat sink touches the extruder head, which is what, you know, otherwise it won't, won't do any sinking. So that seems to be the way it goes together. And I'm gonna, and then the, head, the motor goes on this side. So I'm gonna put these both in and put it in here, and then we'll uh, try it from there. So, so the. I'm going to put a link in the comments to the video that Flashforge puts on, but it doesn't really show you where these spacers go because it's only taken from the front. So to get the second one in, I'm going to put it in the little uh, indentation first and then put the grill over it. And then I'll put the um, 
screw through it. So now I got both of these in. I gotta make sure they don't come back out again. And on this side, I gotta take the uh, heat sink off so I can put the other the other uh, spacer in there. Here's the other big spacer. Like this. Yeah. So in the video, they show us them taking this whole thing off as a unit. So that's actually a good thing. But then once it's off, it's just going to fall apart. So they just show up, you know, pulling it. After you loosen it, you just pull it off as a unit. Maybe you could put some tape on it or something so the screws don't fall out or something. On them. Okay, so anyway, that's that. Now we need to put the motor back on, which is over here. So the motor... This is the top where the little uh, lever is. So that goes on here like this. And this goes down here. And these screw in to the through the through the uh, extruder head and then into the motor. So I tighten those up. Use our Allen wrench again that came with it. Well, there's two on there. You gotta take the bigger one. Is the, is the uh, one that fits this? So I seem to remember when I first put it together, we screwed the screwed this all together. But it has been a while, so make sure these wires are clear, which they aren't. Okay. So we gotta fix that. That would just melt that uh, fan wire. That wasn't too smart. Loosen these back up again so we can get the motor off. So we're taking this out as a unit as soon as we get it loose. This one's loose. This one's not quite loose. Oh, this one's loose. Okay. So we're keeping it together as a unit. And then we're taking these wires to make sure they're not in there. So one of the wires got hooked around the uh, screw. That wouldn't have been very good. Okay, so there you go. Something again, something else not to do. So. All right, so we're feeding these through the. There's no threads in the uh, extruder head, but there's a little bit of, of resistance going in there. So now we've got everything together. Tighten these up. These wires are clear. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go over like this, I guess. Yeah, I think the wires go over here behind this thing. Okay, as long as they're not down by the extruder head, we should be okay. Now we can tighten this up. Motor's back in there, just about. Yeah. Okay. And then we hook the motor back up. Should only go in one way. Red is on the right. It helps. Green is on the left. All right, so that's all in. The, the fan is still connected. I guess I could have disconnected the fan earlier. Okay, so now we're going to plug it back in. Turn it on. Alright, so now it's on. So now we're going to uh, we're going to try to, to load the filament again. So let's try and load the filament in the front. Use our tools. Load filament. I guess using the temperature we set in our uh, preheat section, so it's 220. That's for this <laughs> silver PLA filament. Alright, so let that heat up and hopefully it'll feed through properly this time. We'll check it out. A couple more degrees. Alright, let's see if it comes out. It seems to be feeding properly. Yep, still going in. That's good. Should start coming out the bottom any second there. Come on, film it. There it goes. Hooray! All right, so that's how you unclog the filter, unclog the uh, 
the print head and uh, keep track of all the inserts. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.